It is now summer vacation for many kids, but educators hope it's not the end of learning. With so many kids struggling with literacy and reading, schools hope kids will continue to read this summer. Over the past month, Krem Cares and our partners handed out about 2,000 free books to help the effort. This morning, we take a look at why we're focusing on literacy. Nancy Ingham spends her free time reading to kids at Harrington Elementary School, believing that books tell not only a story, oh, the places you go, but provide pathways to success. Ingham drives an hour from Spokane each week to the small rural school that has about 100 students in preschool through sixth grade. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far. The students delight in the storytelling, and she hopes that the kids carry that love of literature home with them this summer. Coming from a small town, that's how I got to know the world, was through books. And then it got me excited about traveling and just about sharing my love of reading. Um, and it all began with books. Teachers, along with the principal at Harrington Elementary, are like educators all over the region and throughout the country working with students to promote reading and literacy. According to the Washington Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction, approximately 36 percent of students are reading below grade level between kindergarten and fourth grade. And while the numbers have started to improve, it's a challenge. Just putting books in their hands, putting books in their parents' hands, and just giving them the opportunity to read, be read to, is huge. That's what they need. The why behind the struggle with literacy is like a complicated plot line in a book. There are many different challenges facing kids, families, and schools. The pandemic is a piece of the problem. Kids that are now in the third to fifth grade window were in the early learning stages of reading when the access to school, libraries, and books in general may have been limited. Yes, sometimes we call it the COVID hangover. It's a real thing. And then there's just the question of attendance. Nationally, the White House just released a statement calling on communities and schools to establish a better culture for attendance and hosted educators to better discuss and learn about the issue because thousands of kids around the nation just aren't attending school on a regular basis. For Principal Tiffany Klaus, it is a daily focus. So another thing um, that we are still dealing with post-pandemic is um, attendance. And that's probably one of the biggest things we fight is getting kids to school every day and just really working on getting them here. Um, because our research, the more they attend school, the higher their academics are. And in the reading realm, not all is bad news. Some schools are seeing improvements in scores, and there are kids who can't wait to sit in the summer sun and read. Um, when I start reading, I like I want to know what happens next. And teachers say part of the process is just meeting kids where they're at. Patience, an important lesson. Maybe their number isn't going to be where you want it to be, but they made growth, and that's huge. I think students come along in different ways. Not every student learns to read at the same time in the same way. And so it's important to just realize that every student's an individual. They're making progress. As for Ingham, she says the drive to volunteer is worth every mile she can get kids to read. And if I've made that much of a difference in their love of reading, it's, it's worth it. Reporting in Harrington, Laura Papetti, Creme 2 News.